I'm sharing how I went from being an underpaid teacher to making 20K a month online so you can use this information to have the freedom to choose when and where you work. At this point in the series, you've already chosen your niche, the who and the what. If you've missed any of that information, go back and check that out and make sure you're following along so you don't miss any of the future parts of the series. So first things first, we need to decide what our brand actually is. And to do that, we're gonna answer a few key questions. Firstly, what problems do you solve for your niche and what outcomes do you provide? So for example, if your niche was new moms who want to start exercising again and lose some weight, the problem might be she doesn't have time to go to the gym or she doesn't know any 20 minute exercises that she can do that are gonna be effective for her. The outcome that you could provide might be 20 minute workouts that she can do at home with no equipment while her baby is napping. This is also the time to start thinking about what makes you different as a brand, what you stand for, what is the enemy of your brand, what does your brand not stand for.